working or what. <laughs> Do you see it? Okay. Okay. Yeah, because it doesn't tell me shit. Hi guys, I'm just waiting to see who shows up, if anyone shows up, because I've got something to say and I'm only gonna do it one time. All the haters, come on in, come on in, fill the room, fill the room. So I am not a quiet person, ever, unless I am quiet, contemplating words and probably a little on purpose before I talk. I have not been watching what is going on. <laughs> the lovely group of people who actually are genuine people and give a damn have been enlightening me as to things that are being said, things that are being shown, things that are being tossed around, whatever. Outrage, right? And for the smart asses in the comment on the video last night, I just would like to reiterate it's really sad how many of you don't know what it is like to have a good man. My man does not speak for me. My man speaks because of me, if that makes any sense. And the stress, I guess you can call it stress, of everything that's been going on, it doesn't necessarily get to me, but it really gets to fiance. Like, I could give zero fucks about what any of you fucking people want to spend your miserable, lonely lives trying to dig up on me. I don't fucking care. Am I a decent person? Absolutely. Am I the type of person who will feel bad if something that I have said has hurt someone? Of course I am. However, I have to sit back and find it absolutely fucking, one, hilarious, two, pathetic, that you guys are showing things that you're not giving context to. Matter of fact, the funniest one I've heard is was today, and I don't know why I do this, but I speak in a way where I try <laughs> to make other people think and use their own intelligence to come to some sort of conclusion or reasoning with it. It never fucking works. It just doesn't work. I can't help y'all. But honestly, I'm over the bullshit. I'm not one of these people out here on this YouTube street that is out here in need of money. I don't want fame. I don't want fortune. I don't need fucking money. I really do not. There is a limit on the amount of drama that one should allow to enter into their lives. When I tell, let me tell y'all what I did today. I went outside in the goddamn yard and I did fucking yard work for the first time, I swear to God, in probably a fucking year because my entire fucking life has been dedicated to YouTube. If I'm not on my channel, I'm on someone else's panel. I'm constantly on the fucking internet. And today was just another solid reminder that I needed that this world out here is not real world. This is not real world. And I'll admit, part of it is my fault because fiance and I, we don't have a very social life, right? We sit at home, we do what the fuck we do, we are each other's best friends, right? So we don't have friends, like maybe three around here outside of the house. It's probably a little my fault for looking at the people who watched me as sort of like they gave a damn because it has become very apparent over the last few days that they don't. Most, most, sorry. Dago's fat ass, and I am going to address this. You can go fuck yourself nine ways to Sunday. Literally had a conversation with you. I wasn't the only one talking with you. You are the most money-grubbing, money-hungry son of a bitch I have ever met. This is the third time that I've had a fucking loyalty problem with you. And my idiot ass, for some reason, has always felt bad for your fat, sloppy ass and given you a pass. I heard what the fuck you said today. You're a fucking liar. You are a goddamn liar. I can't tell you how many times I've heard you say that I, you wish you could do your show different. You wish you could do your show like I do, but you can't because the old bitches that watch you won't send you money anymore. And you can't call me a goddamn liar. You know I'm right. Multiple people heard it over and over again. Fuck you, you fat bastard. Now, that's the only one I'm going to go in on. Hoist your motherfucking sails. Sail around the glow, bitch. Don't care. Buzz your bees around the beehive. Because let me tell you something. One thing that not one of you motherfuckers did is reach the fuck out to me 
instead of reading some comments, you didn't come to me and ask for no motherfucking context. I bet your bitch asses didn't even go back and look at what the fuck we were talking about. Did you? No. Because at the end of the day, this whole true crime genre, y'all ain't about truth. Y'all ain't about realness. You ain't about honesty and you're not about fucking loyalty. And I don't fuck with people like that. I don't. It's a really sad situation because for the last three days on God, I have had people blowing my inbox up with clips of Granny's watching, being racist, fucking jonesing, being racist. But you got all this nerve to come the fuck at me? Okay. I know why you're coming at me. It ain't because you got fuck all of a problem with anything I had to fucking say. You come at me because I'm your goddamn competition. I have the one thing that you lack on this platform and it's called personality. Oh, well, sorry, pray more. At the end of the day, I'm a fucking asshole. Guess what I have said since I came out on this platform? I am a fucking asshole. I am a cunt, I am a bitch, and I don't fucking care what you think about me. I don't fucking care, bro. If people were not sitting here telling me this, so-and-so said this, so-and-so said that, okay, and cool. Do, do they want an award? They want a cookie? And, and it's, I don't know, I, I just, it is absolute fucking madness. <laughs> like, it is absolutely fucking maddening. What fiance said in that video yesterday, him and I have sat and God knows we have talked this to fucking death. The other day I wake up and I open my phone and I see that there has been a live, truth had a live, and I go to see it and it's gone. The entire channel is gone. Someone who has literally done nothing and you fat bastard Dago, why didn't you tell the truth about what the fuck happened there? That he wasn't about to, he was being the person that you couldn't be because he got off because he wasn't about to drag me like everybody fucking else. But you can't say that, can you? Nah, because you become what you are. The two-faced son of a bitch that nobody needs to be watching. No one. I ain't never said that about no channel. Go watch who the fuck you want to watch. Go do what you want to do. But y'all fall for that fat bastard shit and you really are a fucking idiot. On God. I don't say shit to offend people. It is my fault. I will take all the blame that I believe adults are mature enough to look at the person that said them in the situation they were fucking in. This motherfucker puts out my personal information, which is wrong on every level. I called him a faggot. Get over it. Get the fuck over it. I have every right in a conversation with him to call him anything I fucking want to. But no, y'all got to get all, a bunch of middle-aged, white-ass fucking women got to get all in their feelings. They got to go out here and play moral police. Who the fuck asked you? Who asked you to do that? No one. But you're lacking content, aren't you? No, we can't sit around and talk about the shit that fucking matters, can we? Nope, we can't do that because that don't bring fucking numbers, does it? I am over it. Like, I, I really am. I'm taking... <laughs> The rest of this week, maybe next week, hell, maybe the next fucking month off. Like I said, I'm not like y'all out here starving for them clicks and views so I can feed myself or my babies. I'm not the one. I don't know how much time I will be taking off or if I will ever even be back. I really don't. I wasn't even going to come out and address this shit today. But the level of backstabbing fucking savage. Granny, or not granny, that the bumblebee bitch emails me or messes me the other day. Savage got some kind of problem with me? No, not that I know of. I got Savage in my other ear telling me, you need to watch Queen B. Don't get caught up in her and Jones's bullshit. Ain't none of you motherfuckers got one face. Not one of you. Ain't none of y'all got one face. For real, for real. And, and I'm done. Like, I'm, I'm done. If I come back to this platform at all, it will be the way it was when I started on my own. I'm not doing no fucking panel. I'm not talking to nobody else in no other channel. I don't need you to succeed on this platform. Trust and believe. I've already proven it. The fact that there are so many Sarge, Sergeant Friday, every night, eight o'clock, like clockwork. He has a, a podcast and he says it all the time. The creators are not the problem. It's the 5.62 idiots that follow them. He's not lying. He's not telling a story. I'm not going to come on here and try to defend myself. Everybody has seen what I have either written. I think some things are being manufactured and bullshit, but it is what it is. I'm not, I, this is how much fucks I give to go back and look at it and compare it to whether it's something I said or not. I, th zero fucks. I don't care. I ain't the only person on this platform who has ever said something sideways out of their mouth and I'm not going to be the fucking last. I'm not going to. Once I go, it's going to be outrage over somebody else. Hellfire, if you ask me, I'm, it'll probably be some outrage tomorrow over some shit I saw go down today. I'm not going to name it just so I can watch it happen. But at the end of the day, it is my channel. I felt the need to come out and say how I feel. If you're looking for an apology, stop. It ain't happening. I said what I said. A, a fucking coward would sit here and apologize for it. I'm not going to do that. It was my actions. It was my words. I said it whatever if you care enough to go get the context from it you care enough if you don't look at me as a fucking racist bigot homophobic person i don't care bro i'm not out here to impress you if other people on this platform could be this way wouldn't none of this shit go on and wouldn't none of y'all have drama to watch amen like it is what it is <laughs> oh there's a perfect example in the chat fat oh my god oh my god oh my god what are we doing oh that
that offended me, bro. No, something like that don't offend you when you're comfortable with what the fuck you are, bro. If the words that come out of somebody's mouth offend you, you got a problem with them words. I, as a person, am not responsible for your trigger points, your trauma, or your fucking outrage. And I'm not going to be responsible for it. Just because you don't see eye to eye with me on everything, don't mean shit. It don't make your way right. It don't make my way right. It is what it is. Like, this is, it is to the point where I'm sitting here like, we got 22 billboards up for this little boy. I have personally put more money than any of these fucking hypocritical, two-faced bitches are sitting here running their goddamn dick suckers. Half of them because they ain't got a man. The other half because their man ain't never home. <clears throat> and I have done it. I have done what the fuck y'all wouldn't do with that fucking income you was making on this platform. So go talk your shit. At the end of the day, when I lay down, I feel fine about myself. And that is the end of it. Y'all can fucking hate me. I'm glad. Because I have said from day one, I'm not for everyone and I don't fucking want to be. I don't want a fucking platform where I have to PC myself. I have to watch what I say. And the fucked up part is, fiance is right. Even if I come back on here, it will be somebody like that snake fat ass ugly bitch Jonesen sitting in the wings, waiting, just waiting to pounce on something so she can spend her fucking holiday weekend, her 4th of July, focusing on me instead of the fact that her fat ugly ass is free in America. There will be someone else. And quite honestly, I love my man more than I love anybody on YouTube. And the stress, he goes through, he has the most stressful fucking job. There's a reason, y'all, that I don't have to make money on the app. He got us. But his job is stressful as shit. So to literally have to deal, he's off this week. And you have to deal with this bullshit? Bro, no. Look at here. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. You see that right there? Do you see that? When I tell you that I have the life, I have the fucking life. And adding stress from all you fucking idiots who can't be fucking grown-ups and can't sit there and get the fuck over it when somebody just ain't who you think they should be. Fuck that, bro. Fuck that. Y'all live y'all's lives that way. Go ahead. Do your thing. But stop. And here's another thing I'm gonna say, and it's gonna be my final piece on it. The simple fact, and this is goddamn so pathetic, I don't even want it to come out of my own fucking mouth. The simple fact that a grown-ass man who literally has more knowledge in this true crime game than anyone else I have ever spoken to cannot come on here, make a channel, not by his own accord, but because others wanted him to, they were encouraging him to, the fact that he cannot, one, get on a panel and have some bitch, Terry Lynn, treating him like a fucking asshole, and he gets, loses his goddamn patience and raises his voice a tiny little bit, and the fucking host, Jay for Justice, sit there and say, oh, well, I know, an angry man is so triggering. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Okay, then... He can't even sit there and have his channel without you people literally running him off the platform with your fucking petty bullshit. You want to know why there's so much drama on this app? And I've said it since, hey, add sexist to the motherfucking list, bitches. It is 95% women. You want to know what the fuck fuels women? Dick and drama. And clearly, a whole lot of y'all on here ain't getting enough vitamin D. So you got to dive all up in it. That's fucking pathetic, yo. Be that type of person. Do it. But I'm trying to tell you right now, honey, I'm not living that life. I'm really not. I'm not going to do it. I think a bug just flew in my mouth. <laughs> Nasty fucker. Oh, that's on me. What? I didn't say calm. Am I? <clears throat> I wasn't gonna come on here because I knew I couldn't be calm. I'm trying to tell y'all that's why I waited a few days because if I had to come on here the other day, I might've been in trouble. But anyway, for those of you who do have a fucking spine and you don't let these motherfucking bitty bitches with nothing else to fucking do, run your life, tell you who to follow, tell you what to watch, tell you what to be outraged at, my fucking hat is off to you. Because I can tell you it's a whole lot of them bitches that don't have what you have. And honey, you already ahead of the game. For real. Like, I ain't even gonna get into <clears throat> nothing. It's only one person who I needed to clarify some shit with. And I did that. Dago, you are a sorry sack of shit. You ain't, no, you ain't been nothing but that. You ain't never gonna be nothing but that. The sheer fact that you have to be a fake ass person online just so your old bitches will pay for your computer cord, your monitors. Oh, the bills I have to pay, the internet while your wife is out there working every day. That's a motherfucking shame. Bitch, you could be a call center for Amazon. You know how many times I call Amazon bitching? You could be one of them people I call into. No, but you don't want no job, do you? You don't want to do what it takes to be a fucking man. And what's funny is you women out there would have a big problem with that if that was a man in society. But because he's somebody on YouTube, you ain't going to say nothing. What I also find funny is why is it that all of a sudden, all of a sudden, out of nowhere... That wasn't the first time I dropped the word faggot on my show, bro. It wasn't. It was not. But why now, all of a sudden, are y'all so outraged? Could it be because we don't want to focus on T-Rev and his little fake-ass call over Madeline Soto? Could it be because we just basically exposed Terry Lynn for doing some fuck shit in the background of Sebastian's case? Could that be it? Is that why now you got to find some sort of reason? Go searching for a reason to be outraged with me. Could that have anything to do with it? All y'all working together. I see it. I see you, boo. I see all y'all, and ain't none of y'all shit.
I'm gonna stand here every day, who I am, you ain't gonna fucking change it. I know you want me to. I know you want me to change, but I will walk the fuck away before I do that. You can kiss my entire fat fucking ass over that, for real. You can kiss all of it. I'm not the fucking one. Like, you people can bend down, cower down to these fucking people. No, bro, I'm not living my life that way. I'm not gonna do it. I don't know if I will have my channel. I really don't, because to be honest, today was a breath of fresh air. We didn't spend a lot of time outside because your bitch is out of shape for going outside and working in this goddamn big ass yard. But, nevertheless, Today, we got to feel the sunshine. Bitch broke a motherfucking sweat. She was fucking sweating for the first time in ages. I'm not worried about this fucking YouTube. And I gotta tell you, my life, I liked it probably a lot better before YouTube, especially when it ain't nothing but a bunch of snakes on a motherfucking plane around this bitch. And I'm not even talking about just creators. I'm talking about people in the chat rooms. I will see y'all motherfuckers. Y'all sit here and talk shit, talk so-and-so about this creator to be five seconds later. They go live and here you are in there. Oh, how are you doing? How's so-and-so? Like y'all are just fake. People are fake as fuck. That shit is pathetic. It's embarrassing. Like it's really embarrassing. And God knows I'm going to be chastised because I'm the only bitch that's sitting here saying, yes, I said what I said. If you're going to be mad, be mad. But goddamn, am I really so fucking good? Am I so much to worry about? Am I everything to you that you got to spend over a week on it, bro? Over a week focused on me? Y'all want to know why I got the man I do? Well, guess what? I'm just saying. These bitches over here sweating me. Like, let's cut the shit. That's a, that's a two-day conversation, maybe. And damn sure not one to be had on the 4th of July. These motherfuckers out here shooting off fireworks. You sitting there pissed the fuck off over Cluminati. What a fucking life you live, Jonesen. You fat, ugly bitch. Am I being? I need to shut it down, don't I? Thank you, mm -hmm. Yeah, he's right. I said my piece. Oh, yeah, I will do that because that was the whole point of me. Y'all, I try to be, I try to be low. I try to be low key. I try to be nice. <sighs> Lord, help me. I try to be nice. Can't do it. I just can't do it. I, I got to call out bullshit when I see it. I'm sorry, not sorry. To the people who I have had conversations with in Discord, to the people that have supported me, please do not negate that I appreciate every single fucking bit of your time, your energy, and your effort. I know that there are a whole lot of people out there who aren't fucking snowflakes, who are not fucking scared of a mob, who don't care if they are liked by the masses. To those people only, that is who I am talking to, okay? I am talking to you on here who have been with me from day one, who have supported me and been there because at the end of the day, I know Cinny is one. My mod Cinny, 100%, ride or die. She is not sitting here buying into this bullshit that all these other fucking channels are trying to, to push and shove. And and again, I'm going to ask, why they, why they just showing screenshots? Why don't y'all play the context? Why don't y'all show that conversation about the oven where I'm trying to make you think there is no way that this was an accident? Was it hot when she put the baby in? Was it preheated? Was it hot? No, y'all don't even think like that. It's, it's a problem where... You are on a platform where a whole lot of people are just not on your level. And I can't, I can't help that. I'm just not meant to be in the public because the public are idiots. Nine out of 10 people are morons. It is what it is. But no, y'all want to sit there and show a screenshot. Y'all don't want to put no context with it. Y'all don't, and, and all of these people that I have associated with on here, y'all just want to jump stupid. Come to me. Talk to me. Why Y'all act like y'all big badass women and y'all are grown. Say something to me. But y'all can't even fucking do that, bro. But you want me to think you the boss, bitch. Sure, you're right. To my fans, I appreciate you. What? Y'all, I literally put up a fucking... I got, to, I got to say something about this. This is how motherfucking dumb... The, when I say people are dumb, and y'all sit there probably be like, that dumb bitch, she don't know what the fuck she talking about. She just thinks she better than everybody else did it. <laughs> hey, call it how you see it, bro. I put up a spoofed-ass picture of us with a whole motherfucking lunchbox full of powdered sugar. And these motherfuckers run with it. They think that I literally have put up a photo of us doing cocaine. But y'all ain't stupid. Okay. Okay. I can't help you ain't got personality. I can't help people don't like you. I can't help the only reason they like you is because you bring drama. I, Address your fans. To the fans? I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying so hard to stay on. You, keep reminding me. Fiance, keep me in check. See, that's why we work good together. To the fans, I'm sorry. I really am. I, to And not just the fans, but literally to anyone that I offended when I said the shit I did. If y'all don't know my heart by now and y'all don't know that I am not that person, then, hey, we just ain't meant to be associated with each other. To my fans who already know, they know better. They know they're going to look past the bullshit because this is obviously some kind of fucking, what is it called? Uh, Excuse me. Cancel culture mob. Then, I mean, I don't got nothing to say. You know, I'm not a fan of that fucking frou-frou idiot over there, BJ, talking about I love you. But I really do. I have so much love for y'all in my heart. For real. I really do. And do I miss? Like, I'm sitting here the last few days and someone else said it. They were like, it's almost like you're having withdrawals. And you are because there is nothing better than logging onto the computer and getting to spend time with you guys. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, if me logging onto my computer and spending time with y'all is going to result in this massive just witch hunt over a bitch's head because God knows she called smoke the F word and holy hell, he didn't deserve it. I mean, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to live my life in fucking turmoil. I'm not going to do it, bro. I'm going to be just like 
some other people and just exodus. I'm thinking about it to the end of the week. Like I said, maybe the end of the month. I don't fucking know. But do me a favor, y'all. And I mean this. Stop sending me shit, what people are saying. I don't care about Granny calling somebody the N-word with a hard R. I don't care. Let that bitch do her. Let that bitch do her. And uh, one, uh, babe, this ain't the fans, but I am going to say this. They go, you fat ass bastard. One more thing that I will not let you live the fuck down, you lying sack of fucking shit. Don't you ever, and I mean ever, try to come at me sideways again, you son of a bitch. Because let me tell you something. We sat on the motherfucking phone right before you went live yesterday and you was talking about racism, da da da, da all this and that. And I got kicked up. And I looked at you, didn't look at you, but I said to you, motherfucker, <laughs> you cannot sit there and say for five seconds that you don't support it when you had JB on your motherfucking panel. The whole reason his ass came in my show the next night. I'm the, sorry, the same night. Yo bitch ass had him up on the panel. But you want to sit there and act like, well, people change. Really? This your third go around with him. Is that so? Is that so? No, nah, bitch. You knew who the fuck he was when you put him up there. But now all of a sudden it's convenient and you don't support that. But you damn sure supported it when you had him up there that night. You can go fuck yourself. You can't find your motherfucking dick, I know. Got photos of full body. Full body photo. Got a full body photo. I'll show you. You ain't seen that dick in a long time, bro. <sighs> I, mm, to be in front of some people. All right. We good. I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't. I wish I could say that I would be back. I can't even work this hand. It's hard as hell for me to get on the computer. And if that's all the fuck I'm going to get on for, is for some of y'all to just not even be offended, but pretend to be offended because this group over here wants you to be offended. It ain't really worth it, is it, bro? No, bro. At the end of the day, it's not. I got a best friend right here standing beside me and my fiance and one in her room and my daughter. I, so all I got to say is to everyone who did maintain status adult and stayed around even listening to this right now, I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you. For everyone else, fuck off. You can kiss my ass. Bitch, we out. All right, so, drama. <laughs> drama. True crime is drama. Drama doesn't necessarily belong in true crime other than the drama that exists because of the true crime. However, we seem to live in a society and a day and age where there is no escape of the drama that exists within each and every one of us um, gets injected into the drama that exists in whatever else it is that we're talking about, discussing, having an opinion on, whatever, right? When Clue started this channel back in November of 22, I thought it was a great idea because she's got a strong intuition for things. She seems to be able to get a read on people better than anybody I have ever seen in my life. And uh, yeah, I thought she would be really good at it. I think she's done a really good job of it. Um, over the past several days, right? Um, cancel culture has reared its ugly head and for whatever reason right people have got their triggers they got them you can't take it away from them i won't negate anybody's trigger i won't negate anything anybody gets offended at ever everybody's got a right to get offended just like everybody's got a right to say shit that offends others at the end of the day we all make our choices in how we act and how we react so this is my reaction to the past several days um I'm really no different than I was seven days ago. I undoubtedly knew the day would come when, you know, the YouTube world at large would turn on Clue. She's a aggressive fucking woman. She's an aggressive fucking human. Fuck the gender. She's an aggressive human. I've never met anybody that loves more aggressively. I've never met anybody that absolutely will tear you the fuck apart if she has cause more aggressively. And I stand by her. I've stood by her for eight years through anything she's ever had a fucking strong opinion at, about. And I stand by her now. Um, I think the takeaway for me from this past venture into true crime is that even though it can be talked about and labeled as true crime at the end of the day, it's driven by a lot of emotion, a lot of triggers that every individual person has had or has currently. And there are opportunistic people that will seize the moment 
to try and use something that they know triggers a group of people to tear down something that is good other than in bad fucking moments. Um, Clue's not a racist. She's not a homophobe. She's not anything you motherfuckers out here want to make her to be. Any of you triggered fucking people want to fucking play. But at the end of the day, she is whatever she, you say she is, right? Because at the end of the day, she's on the internet and so are y'all. So, um, yeah. The only thing I would say is this, right? Anybody that's going to get triggered, and I mean, I, hell, I'm, I do it myself. But one, the one way I don't lose my mind in getting triggered is I go back and I reflect on whatever it is that pissed me off in the moment. And I say, am I really triggered about what this person said? Like, did this person disappoint me because they're not who they appeared to be? Or am I triggered because they said something that I reflect on from a time in my life with that, that that word or that phrase makes me look back on and reminds me of, of some hell that I went through in my life. In either case, no matter which, which one of those two options are true, learn from it and move forward, right? If somebody was misrepresenting themselves and they unva- there was a mask that was lifted, right? Well, now you know another experience to learn from so you don't get played by somebody. If you got triggered because of some experience of your own, Learn that you still have some shit to work on yourself about something that's happened to you. And don't fucking take it out on other people because they say shit when they're fucking mad or they say shit for whatever fucking reason. Don't let words hurt you. Just don't let fucking words hurt you, y'all. I don't know. I'm making this because I felt like it was time for Cletus to fucking speak about all this shit. I don't speak a lot, but... You know, when I do, I usually have my thoughts together, and I've had the opportunity to get my thoughts together about this. And I think she's probably going to shut her channel down. I think, you know, at the end of the day, the vast majority of the people out here on these true crime air quotes and said loosely streets would probably prefer that. So I think that's probably what we're going to do. She's going to shut it down, and we're going to step the fuck away, let y'all have at it. Um, one thing I do want anybody that is disappointed in this decision to understand is that uh, this isn't being done because of fear, frustration, anything like that. It's more about the fact of if you can't be in a genre and speak freely, get emotional, and say whatever you say because you're just being you you're using the words that you know you're using the words that come to your mind without an entire genre of people trying to take you the fuck down for it then you probably should just step the fuck out of it because at the end of the day you're contributing to the distraction and the distractions that are created and that do come about in cases um you know She's only covered a few. I've been right here for every one of them, and I've seen it happen in every single one of them. Um, this case that she, you know, she's been working, Sebastian's case, um, I think it's had the most of any I've seen. I, I, I couldn't imagine a more convoluted bunch of mess coming about, right? And, hey, we've had our hands in the middle of it too. Um, but at the end of the day, I think if we can't keep it on point and on subject or we're adding to the distraction in any way, the smart thing to do for the people that are directly affected by the situation that you're trying to cover is to just step the fuck out of it. So that is what it is. The billboards that we have up are going to continue to run. We're going to probably continue to post updates about that. And uh, other than that, I don't really have anything else to say. Good luck. God bless. Good night.